Chile also sitting on a, a lot of copper. I think it has 30% of the world's copper. What is the one advice, piece of advice that you would give for the incoming government? Hello. Uh, well, Francis, I, I think that uh, while well, Chile is trying to uh, give the administration to a new one uh, as good as possible in economic terms, in fact, we're trying to uh, to to provide a country which is growing in 2021 around 12 percent. Uh, so we expect the next government is able also to continue, uh, the, uh, not probably the such a large growth rate, but but we expect that they, they could go on mm -hmm. with an important growth. And this is very relevant because in the future we think that we will require, of course, more fiscal revenue to make face to social pressures, which are uh, one of the topics that Chile remain uh, to be closed. Uh, right. As administration, we also have tried to, to increase pensions and so on, but of course, many things are still open. Uh, Minister, last week, uh, Chile's central bank stunned investors with the biggest interest rate increase in about 20 years. This is because of inflation. How much more pain will households have to go through in Chile? Yes, well, uh, currently in Chile, inflation is around 7%, which is more large, uh, larger than the, our target. Our target is around 3%. Uh, but I think um, probably the main problem of the central bank is that the expectation or longer, longer expectation of inflation are currently also quite large. So in that sense, of course, central bank need to, to make the, uh, the rise in the, in the interest rate as it happened. And also we as the government, uh, we have a, a budget in which a budget is decreasing around 20%. Uh, we are trying in, in that sense to accommodate uh, aggregate demand that such that inflation is not a problem in the future. But of course, we need to make a decision in that sense. But so, Minister, how long will we have to wait for inflation to start slowing again? Well, we expect that for the for the second semester of this year, we we are going to see a much lower inflation. I mean, this is expectation. So, in that sense, is that we need to now to take actions. And in that sense, the central bank is increasing interest rate, and also the government is decreasing the the budget that was uh, that has a very large expansion last year. But during 2022, well, we need to make the adjustment on the budget. Uh, Chile is also drafting a new constitution. It will be put to a national referendum later this year. And we understand that there's a charger looking at, for example, opening the door to nationalize the country's natural resources. What do you think that means for international investors? Well, of course, that, uh, that, that's a, a signal we, we need to take care uh, account in our discussion of the new constitution. I think the new constitution is just starting on the discussion. We expect to have a, a constitution which uh, we, we have a focus on growth, and to do that, of course, uh, uh, international investment is quite relevant. So in that sense, I, I think we need to, to wait and see what is the new constitution still where in, in the first discussions. I know a lot of the focus, of course, is on Chile's central bank. We're expecting, or at least there's speculation about a, a possible replacement for Mario Marcel to come soon. What's the holdup? Yes, I mean, we need to make two, two replacements. On one hand, we need to replace the, the president of the central bank. And secondly, we need to, to replace uh, uh, the, the, the one of the, um, the members of the board of the central bank. Well, we just knew about uh, the uh, Mario Marcel decision uh, last week. So in, uh, now we are looking to the decision of which is a new member, and then we are going to see, we are going to decide also on the president of the central bank. I think on the next uh, days, probably we are, we are going to see the decision of the government, which is the current government that is going to make those decisions very shortly. But, uh, Mr. Serda, why has it taken so long, actually, to, to come for a replacement? Well, oh, because, well, we need to, I mean, we have a very good institution in which currently we have a, 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 a president uh, which is a, a, an alternate president which is taking the, the post. Uh, and for the moment, the, the government, while well, it's looking to the, to the member of the board and is trying to, 
to the side which is the best at this moment. And well, I think the, this is a, a very important decision for the next four years. And uh, probably we need to take the appropriate time to make the, the best decision of Oro. So, so probably in the, as I told you, probably in, in, the, next, uh, in the next few yeah. days or week, we're going to make the decision. Um, Minister, I wanted to get your thoughts, and this is something that we try and debate quite often on Bloomberg TV. At the moment, the price of oil, and actually oil, uh, you know, underpins everything that we're seeing in the economy. As we transition into a greener economy, copper could do that role. And of course, Chile is key for copper mining. How do you see the, the, the price of copper, but also the use of copper evolving in the next five years and decades? Yes, I, I, well, the use of copper, as you said, is, is quite relevant in the future for us, in terms of, for us as Chile, in terms of uh, of our uh, production. As you said, well, Chile is one of the largest largest product, producer of copper in the world, and in that sense, well, we are seeing that probably some of our use to copper is going to be made in the future. So in that sense, probably we're going to try to expand our production. In fact, Codelco, which is the larger firm, uh, is trying to uh, to make an investment in that sense. Uh, and probably the copper price is going to remain uh, not as high as we have seen, but but as, as a very f uh, fair price in the future. This is a good news for our economy, but this is also good news for the world in the sense that uh, Chile is going to continue producing uh, copper and uh, providing the, for the new uses that is going to be required. Minister, as always, a pleasure to speak to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Rodrigo Cerda there, Finance Minister of Chile, joining us for an exclusive conversation.